myself, I'm Kelly Dockrell. I'm one of the lead matchmakers that covers all South Florida, including Miami, Miami-Dade, Broward, all the way up to West Palm Beach. Um, obviously, the point of the Laura Matchmakers is to still have that one-on-one -on -one concept, but stray away from the millionaire platform. We, we gear our clientele towards just good people looking for long-term committed relationships and honesty, credibility, as well as, of course, you know, a future and a good, um, a good outlook in life. So, with that said, we have been canvassing the South Florida market to find these people. Quite frankly, we're getting a lot of them off of the Match.com, eHarmony.com. They've tried other matchmakers in the area. And the fact that we're young, aggressive, and even reach out to a higher level in terms of our clientele and what we can do in terms of matchmaking as well as life coach, personal training, style, fitness. So when you take all that and put it together, really, the goal of the company is just to make our clients feel better about themselves in the time period that they're looking to find love. So um, I gave a little biography on myself in the email that I sent out, so I'm going to take this time and kind of push it off to the matchmakers. So um, first I'll introduce Marianne. Marianne is our mini match. So she is new to the company, going through training, or as some call an apprentice. And Marianne, how did you how did you get here? I got here from, I've been working a lot in bridal and doing hair and makeup and I'm there for everyone's special day and I thought it would be really awesome to be there in the beginning of all of it and then be because I always get to hear great stories about how they met and how they came to be so I think it would be really awesome to be there from the beginning of it. <laughs> what about you Kelly? Sorry, this is Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. Um, the but, other Kelly in the case where case where <laughs> and Kelly's been uh, Kelly's been a long time matchmaker with us. Um, of course, being a young company, she was one that got involved and started this whole gig. So, Kelly, you take it from here. Well, I am um, by trade. <laughs> I'm an esthetician, and um, I specialize in Brazilian waxing. So. Uh, which is an unusual thing to specialize in, but because it's such an intimate service, I got to know women very well, and I really liked how um, I was able to see women transform as far as their confidence and their spirit when we did something that made them feel beautiful in a way that wasn't traditionally um, in an area that was not traditionally viewed as beautiful, although I think we all agree. She's pretty powerful. But um, as that happened, I ended up having a lot of single girls, and I also compete in Scottish Highland Games. I work out with guys a lot. I would not typically date any of them because I don't like to complicate something yeah, that's very, um, very much a treasure and a release for me. So um, I kind of started, I found a lot of guys that were fantastic guys that needed a wonderful girl. and. I was finding girls and I was really getting to know them a little bit more intimately and deeper um, based on the realm that we knew each other in. So I ended up setting up a few different people and um, had some really great successes. A lot of people that are very happy and still together and I enjoy seeing other people happy. That makes me happy. We love love. We do love love. It's just and love is tough and brutal sometimes, but we still love it. It's fantastic. Actually, the slogan for the company is where there's love, there's life. And I do feel as though that's an important way to look at life because you, you can love anything. If it's one-on-one -on -one way in contact, of course that's love, but you can love a dog, you can love material items, you can love you know, your faith and religion. So, But I do feel with the one-on-one -on -one connection that we find with the person, obviously we're going to have things like the non-negotiable. So some of my goals won't date a guy that's bald. That's kind of a big one. But there also comes in an element of life coaching where perhaps as we get to know that girl better, we realize that she thinks that's a non-negotiable, but that might be a life coaching aspect we need to coach her on as far as like, that's actually not maybe a core issue for you. Maybe that's something you can get past. Right. So we, it's a lot of life coaching and helping people and it grow. Is, and it's, a, it's amazing because when you look at somebody who's non-negotiable and maybe sit down with them after a couple of dates and say, hey, let's go through your file. Let's see you know, some of the feedback, some of the aspects that you you um, felt maybe confined and you were too shy. Let's see if the next date had you open up. Um, and we even go as far as to taking our clients out on um, 
coaching days, ladies nights, just to get them comfortable with maybe flirting with girls at the bar, um, asking the right questions, giving them little um, missions, missions of the night, yes. And, and it's been very successful. So we believe in the company, we believe in success. Um, I can't I can't really say anything else other than the fact that you know, we are the ones that are deciding, you know, who we should match up with each other. But at the same time, it's a very private service. So when we are able to pull a database and we find a couple that we feel is a good match, we'll send them a bio on that person. And it includes everything from uh, a picture and um, if they have two kids, if they've ever been married, anything that's very pertinent. Um, obviously, if they're bald or something like that, you can have it in there. And then if everybody says yes, if both parties say yes, then we decide the date spot. Something not so casual, but not too upscale. Nice ambiance. We've got restaurants affiliates all over South Florida that we're able to mix and match with. So, um, And then if the couple likes each other and they have a good time, they can exchange numbers at that point. I'd love to tag on to you the way you said about the whole, like, the ball thing. Okay? There was a particular woman that I worked with for a few years back, actually, and um, she was dating a guy, and one of the big issues was he, um, he was a widower, and <laughs> they struggled with a lot of things, like they actually, they, he still had a lot of the same friends from his previous wife, and they actually had a cardboard cutout, so I had to coach her to, yes, that's a non-negotiable, that perhaps that's something we need to let go of, the cutout of the deceased wife, because yeah. that's kind of like the wife is still in the relationship with um, That's a little awkward. That was a little awkward. That was a little yeah, awkward. That was, yeah, that's and even something. still though, but for the longest time she wouldn't even consider him because she was actually a fairly tall woman and he was too short. Well, I had been in that situation and I actually gave somebody who was a little shorter than I expected a chance and had a great experience with that person. Long story short, she ended up marrying him and they're still very happy. So that was, a, like, that was an early win to realize that some things that the people think they can't get past, they really can. And I think some of the things that we um, would like to do in this project is maybe even have people do things like I compete in Highland Games. We may need to take our clients to a physical level to coach them on and getting how to past. grow and getting past things that they think aren't achievable. Because you started the Highland, I don't know if you mentioned it, because you were pissed off at an ex. I had a terrible breakup. I, and this is another reason why I feel a little bit more ability to connect with other women, and even men, and situations they've been in. I walked in on a, a boyfriend, and he was um, naked in bed with his ex. And in that moment, I realized that that was not my fault, but somehow, for this to be my life, there was something that I wasn't doing right. And I've been very lazy, so I really wanted to destroy everything in sight. <laughs> but I remember doing that Highland game, so I decided to do something very positive with that um, aggression and energy. <laughs> now I throw heavy things all over the nation. She invited me to go, and I said, no way. And heck, she's been doing this for however long. She's got it's been a lot of fun. She's got me. And she mentioned, I think, Jiu-Jitsu. You're on your own there. I'm glad that, like, you <laughs> have fun with too. I love the hardcore. She just crossed it, everything like that, so. But I think that that's a very important part about a person growing. It's not just... Couples that play together stay together. together. Yeah. I always say these things. We, and we do abide by a lot of the same rules, i.e. monogamy is very important um, before you enter into a, a physical relationship. Of course, we can't force couples to do this, but we... We also tell them that we prefer things to start slow, and that's why the guy doesn't get the girl's number on the first date. And the reason why that, that concept came up is because um, I obviously have had some um, stories about Mashup Comedy Harmony that, quite frankly, the guy doesn't look like his photo. Um, it's a lot it's of times the girl doesn't either. <laughs> you need to submit in a photo that's not five years, five pounds, or five marriages ago. It's got to be real time. Within the last six months at least. Exactly. So, and of course, since we meet these people in person, we're going to tell them, hey, this is going to work and this doesn't. You can't get us a photo. Well, we're going to wait until you get us a photo before we find you a match. So, <clears throat> so um, once, once that kind of came to fruition, the fact that I needed to go out and, and find the real guys out there versus, you know, some of the weirdos that I've met in, you know, Match.com and whatnot. The problem with the weirdos is that they already had my number. Because you exchange numbers. And then I had one guy that, that I got matched up with through another matchmaking company. And he called and left a voicemail. And he's like, hey, so I guess you're out. Or maybe you're just not into me because I just called you five minutes ago. And, you know, if it is or if it isn't, then if it is. And I'm just like, 
<laughs> so I need to stop that. I need to stop that. So meet one on one, see the person's you know physical aspect. Go to dinner. It's serious. It's it's private. And worst case scenario, if you didn't like the person, go on your merry way. You had a fun evening. You had a great evening. And if your date has issues talking, we'll probably put you in a super fun place, like a Polynesian explosion, dancing, extravaganza. We also do um, the melting pot, yes. nice sushi places, and of course being in South Florida, you can imagine the array of restaurants that want to work with us, um, that are contacting us daily just to say, hey, send some of your matches down here, we'll give them a break. But the number one rule on a date, I don't care how the date goes, I don't care if she throws her drink in your face, the guy always pays. And, and that probably comes from my heart because I've dated some of the cheapest men that slept on their baby mama's couch, that slept on their mom, mother's couch, that um, drove a dumpy car that didn't even have a radio in it. So I thought that I was being you know, thoughtful to play my iTunes on my phone. That's how I drive around this car. So the goal is, that, and since I think we've all driven past all these bad relationships, we're at a point right now that we want to exude confidence to the clients that we're bringing on, because confidence is going to give you a loving like, relationship, loving aura about you. Absolutely. And we have a little mission, um, what, do we, what do we call something, like a little, it's our little buzzword. It's called Facebook Official. Facebook Official. <laughs> it's not official until it's on Facebook. So that's it our biggest goal. Right. Right. Even if you don't like social media. Nice but we're gonna get you Facebook Official very soon. Facebook Official. Right. And the thing is, is that the baby Google, matchmaker, <laughs> mini match. So, but the goal also is to just um, help local businesses. And while we're helping others find love and success, we're helping lo local businesses to bring on business for people that need the personal training or the bikini waxing or um, any of those types of issues. Um, we also do body details, which is permanent. That's on a different level. We cultivate strength, beauty, and love. And the world needs a lot more of it. Right, my sister. Again. <laughs> so come and go on this journey with us. We would love to have you witness some of the amazing things that happen. It, it's a joy for us to be a part of. It is the season of love. It is the season. And so we have a Christmas tree. Phenomenal. Um, but we're actually in one of our meeting spots right now, which is a um, salon called Salon Vanguard. And it's, Barcelona. So it's, yeah, it's European, and, and I don't know if you can see some of the things on the wall if you want to see it. Um, so there's our girls that you have tattooed me. We have clients here tonight. That's great. I'm actually an esthetician here. So as I said, I do the waxing, lash extensions, facials. Miriam is an amazing, very highly sought after makeup artist. She's doing all kinds of great things. So both of us are here. and. A lot of times, one of the things that people need to help them in their dating is to have more self-esteem and confidence, and a lot of that is taking care of on the physical, the outside part, play and your that engages play the inner part. Play in your elite. That's all I say, play in your elite. If you think in your head that you're a 7.5, cool. then, then you can find somebody that you feel as though it's a 7.5. But well, let's be realistic. Let's look in the same year, everybody. <laughs> Uh, and, and I'm not trying to turn, um, it's just not physical, it's also maybe you know, career-wise, um, it might be maturity level, whatever it is, let's just, let's just stay on the same playing field. And that's what we're doing. You know, we've met these people. And for the most part, we meet at a Starbucks, we'll meet here, and that's when we're just going to be confident and be themselves and just kind of be laid back, so do whatever. So I think we're ready to wrap up here before. Um, we're just Oh yeah, okay. One, two, three.